Emma, when I walk down in today with you, honestly, it's something I'll cherish for the rest of my life. It was a really, really special moment for me. Eunice is developing right now across the Atlantic. This area of cloud is already deepening and will deepen further during the next 24 hours. Emma, I knew I had to marry you when I saw your face in a crowded place. Seeing you for the first time in the Red Lion pub on my brother Andrew's last night of freedom, 14 years ago, before himself getting married, I said to a couple of lads, hell yes please. Luckily Emma was there the next day at the church and reception. I know I'm no Darnie, but I think she took a shine to me. By the end of the night, he ended up going home with her in a taxi with five others. So let me tell you, as our daughter Matilda starts off a lot of her stories these days about the evening I asked Emma to marry me. Matilda and myself have been out to choose a ring. I got it all planned in my head, all romantic and something that will be with us for the rest of our lives. Well, I was only right about that it's something we both remember. Proposing while Coronation Street is on, being on bend and knee while I Emma is trying to follow the action on the street and constantly fending off a two-year-old, Matilda Alice, trying to get the ring on the finger wasn't part of my romantic master plan. What I wasn't expecting was the curveball from Matilda throwing up all over the place. <laughs> but it couldn't have worked any better because my rock, my best friend... Emma, you look lovely. Thank you. you do a you do a jump. For the last two years, I've seen the emotional, physical damage it's done to you. But bomb bombarded with COVID-19 patients, lack of protection, lack of backing, yet you come home to us every shift and kept us all together. I'm so immensely proud of you, and this is hopefully shown in this speech. And here we are at the third time of asking. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together, although we've already 14 years in. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in raising a glass to my beautiful, funny, caring and smart wife, Emma. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Can I bid you a very warm welcome to Van Dyke by Wilds, where today, surrounded by family and friends, Paul and Emma are going to be making their commitment to each other. Marriage is also the promise of hope between two people who love each other sincerely honour each other as individuals and wish to unite their lives and share their futures together. Now, a successful marriage is going to depend upon many factors. Your guests will probably recognise that there may be times when you need a degree of patience, a little tolerance, some understanding and a good sense of humour will help you too. The solemn and binding vows that you're about to make will unite you and take you across the threshold of life as you step into your future as husband and wife. I, Paul Francis Fanning. I, Paul Francis Fanning. Take you, Emma Marie Kay. Take you, Emma Marie Kay. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Emma Marie Kay. I, Emma Marie Kay. Take you, Paul Francis Fanning. Take you, Paul Francis Fanning. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Uh, I give you this ring. Emma, I give you this ring. In the presence of our family and friends. In the presence of our family and friends. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a celebration. And as a celebration of our love. Of our love for one another. Paul, I give you this ring. In the presence of our family and friends. In the presence of our family and friends. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a celebration. And as a celebration of our love. Congratulations, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> and you, Mr. and Mrs. Fanning. <laughs> I can give them a little bit of advice, they can either heed it or not. I would just say, remember to put each other first, Talk about everything openly and honestly. And remember, whilst nobody is perfect, with the strength of love and mutual respect and understanding, you two can be the perfect match for each other. Please be upstanding to raise your glasses to bride and groom, Emma, Emma, Emma and Paul. Thank you. Thank you. But 
I didn't actually think in all the years I've known you, someone was daft enough to marry you. Uh, I'm sure, Emma, you must be reading the drug cabinet at work, you know. <laughs> um, but honestly, uh, you both look really happy. I'm, I'm so pleased for you both. And you've got Tilly as well, who's absolutely adorable, full of confidence, never stops talking, keeps you running round. And it's just fitting now, your man and wife. Just like to say how lovely the, the venue is and the day's been really nice and how it's gone. And it's been an absolute honour to be your best man. And thank you for asking me. And I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish you the best, best of happiness for all the years to come. Um, finally, if you can just all raise your glasses one last time and join me in a toast to Paul and Emma. So, well done guys.